per square. Let's see how many lines of symmetry it's got. I could place a mirror here. I could place a mirror here, a mirror here, and a mirror here. The square has four lines of symmetry. This rectangle is an oblong. It's got one pair of parallel lines here, and another pair of parallel lines which is slightly longer. I wonder if it changes the amount of lines of symmetry it has. It has one line of symmetry here, and one line of symmetry here. It has got two lines of symmetry. Here's a rhombus with four sides of equal length, but no right angles in it. It's got one, two lines of symmetry. Here is a parallelogram. It's got nowhere that I can put a mirror and reflect the shape to look exactly as it would in this image. It has got zero lines of symmetry. This trapezium has got one line of symmetry where I can place a mirror and reflect the original shape. This pentagon has quite a lot of lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four, five. Here is an equilateral triangle. It's equilateral because all three sides are the same length and all three angles are the same size. It's also got one, two, three lines of symmetry. Here's an isosceles triangle. It's got two sides of equal length and two identical angles. It's also got one line of symmetry. And finally for this video, the circle. The circle is interesting because it's actually got a line of symmetry here, 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 here. Ooh, not there. That didn't go through the centre. Here, 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 here. In fact, there isn't a set amount. A circle has infinity amount lines of symmetry. There is no set value for how many lines of symmetry you can draw through the centre of a circle. There's an interesting fact, maths fans.